Hi everyone. Today we are going to implement jet propulsion for our plane controller. We will start by creating a backburner effect and adding it to our model and finish with adding a turbo boost for our plane when the user press a key. This is part of my Godog Fight game creation series in which we will create the game you are seeing in the background. There are timestamps in the description along with links to the GitHub page with the final version of the code. Let's get started. So in our project, we will go to our main scene, the scene we made our plane controller with the model. And we're going to first go to our project setting and in input map, we are going to add a new action called Turbo. I chose the middle mouse button because I am going to create a game that you can play with only your mouse, which will allow more people to be able to play it. So I chose the middle mouse button. We are then going to go to our plane controller and as you can see we created this Turbo modifier before and now we can go to our remove function and do the following test. We can test if input is action pressed. Turbo. And then we can take this value and save it in a variable called velocity. And if we are in turbo mode, we should take velocity and multiply it by turbo modifier. And that's it. If I run it now, when I press the middle mouse button, I don't know if you were able to see it because we were moving so fast. Let me just turn around. Now I'll press the middle mouse button and we are in turbo mode. And I stop and you can see we slow down. We are going to create a new scene. We are going to choose type particles. We are going to increase the amount of particles we have. We are going to decrease the time and increase the explosiveness. This will emit most of the particles very quickly, which is what we want from a jet and engine. And we want some of the parts to disappear before the others, so we increase the randomness. So we can close the time. We will open the drawing and we will uncheck local coordinates and set the draw order to view depth. We are going to, uh, before creating the process material, go to draw passes and add a new quad mesh. It is going to be way too big for our small model, so we are going to decrease the size and zoom in a little bit. That's too small. Here we have this tiny particle. We're going to add a spatial material to our particle. We're going to change some things. We're going to check unshaded. In vertex color, we're going to use as albedo. In parameters, we're going to set the blend mode to add and the billboard mode to particle billboard and you can see that now our particles are facing the camera and that's it now that we have some visualization of our particles we can go finally to our process material and create a new particles material they are immediately falling down we want them to stop so we will go to gravity and set it to zero 
we're going to go to emission shape and choose a sphere but the sphere is way too big so we are going to decrease it to something more reasonable now they are all stemming from the same point we're going to go to angular velocity and we're going to set it to some high value and we're going to increase the randomness and now our particles are rotating we're going to go to angle and we are going to let our particles start at a random angle and now you can see that they are turning at random velocities and are starting from different angles we're going to go to scale and create a new curve we want them to start pretty small go to the maximum size they can have and then go to zero we're going to go to color and create a new gradient and the way I like to set it up is I like to start at black finish at black and in the middle go to white and right next to white I want to have some orange which indicates some very strong flame and then some white on both sides so this is the gradient I'm working with maybe let the orange have some more space yeah that seems nice I'm now going to go to trail and by increasing the divisor you'll see that we get this nice effect of growing and getting smaller and I'll zoom in, zoom out a little bit now when I drag our particle effect you see that we get this very nice jet I'm going to increase the time a little bit and I'm going to decrease the explosiveness because it's too explosive meaning they are getting away too quickly and maybe increase the amount a little bit I'm going to save this as maybe first change the name to jet engine I'm going to save it I'm going to go to our main scene and add to our plane two jet engines and now when we play we get this jet effect but it is on all the time so what we want to do is go to our code and we want to override the input function and what we are doing if the player is pressing the tour button we're going to set the jet engines to be emitting and if it's released we're going to set them to not emitting and we're going to go back to our jet engine and we're going to set emitting to be false as a default and now if I run again you see that the plane have no jet and when I press the turbo button then the jet starts to work as a final touch I went back to our jet engine I set the quad to be slightly bigger this is the final values I changed and I changed the lifetime to be shorter and the explosiveness to be zero and now when I play again you'll see that we'll get much better looking jet engine and that is it for today I hope you find this tutorial helpful in the next one we are going to implement the exploding targets and the machine gun fire if you want to be able to watch these videos as they come out you can subscribe and be notified as soon as I release them as always if you have any questions or suggestions you can write them down in the comments and I will answer them Thank you for watching and see you next time. Goodbye.